Okay, so... Um... I fought Riker a bunch. Like... 60, 80 something times. I don't know. A lot. Because I wanted to kill him without the sword. For the cloud of saying I could do it. Because I did it in the other games. But the other games were easier. First of all... The, the, the bosses were less aggressive. They... Genu generally had some sort of cheese available within them. And, uh... They weren't two phases, man. The two phases was a lot. I can easily take down either phase. But both of them's a lot. Especially because, basically, if I get hit, I die. Uh, I managed to, to squeeze through a couple hits here by use of a Great Rune. Actually, I'm not even sure if I'm using the Great Rune. I, might, I don't even know why I survived that, honestly. But, whatever. I got actually pretty decent at dodging by the end of it. But I just, I got tired. So, whatever. Here we go. See what's up with the. Uh... I mean, if you cut its head off, it kind of does. <laughs> that it? That's all you had for me? Ah, we got a grace. Uh, no secret pathways. That's the end of this. It's a legacy dungeon. Legacy dungeons end in just ending. But, um, goddamn, there we go. I can finally move on with my life. And, um, I guess next up we're gonna. Well, I should go. I should go to Round Table Hold very least go to the table of lost grace and uh see what his uh, remembrance gets me she's gonna taunt me about the fingers yeah yeah thousands of years whatever just show me what his uh oh does he have any equipment no yeah. show me what your remembrances though Ooh. i can either have the big ridiculous sword uh, unique skill, raise the sacred sword, aloft, set with the blast, flame, then bring it down. Steal HP. Hmm, interesting. And it heals on kill. That's that's a good great sword. It's a good great sword. <clears throat> Finally, though, a cool fucking sorcery. This is what I've been waiting for, man. See the trail of delayed explosion. So this gets his uh, little fire skull thing. In the audience, whereupon they were welcomed by the maw of the great serpent, and within the serpent's bowels, they became the lords again. E. Okay, whatever. Definitely doing that. I want that spell. That's gonna be cool. What if I tell her this? Heavens forbid. That is not the domain of mere men. The burning of the Erd tree is the first cardinal sin. And you say you seek the power of the rune of death too? <coughs> the rune of death goes by two names. The other is, is destined, destined to death. The forbidden shadow plucked from the golden order upon its creation. Uh, unleashing the rune now would be unthinkable. The fingers would never permit it. Nor would the greater will. Mm. But here we are. The fingers dormant, severing our link to the greater will. The realm and all life in ruins. Impossible events transpire beyond the ken of the fingers. Who is to say that the cardinal sin must be cardinal forever? 
Go on. Finish the job. Take the course you deem most worthy. She said, fuck it. Do it. You must find kindling. Only the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants or the highest peak in the lands between can burn the earth tree. But special kindling is required to ignite the flame. Secret secrets. For the flame to burn the earth tree, a sacrifice is needed. Hmm. Of one who envisions the flame and can lead you to the rune of death. Honey bun, I have the rune of death. Oh, God, let the work. Oh, actually, you know what? Um, while I'm here, I should pick up a few of these. Like a bunch. I I I will spend all all of the money I got from that fight on those. That's fine. Don't even care. Also, um, <clears throat> I ended up uh, taking the rest of my spells out of their slots to uh, streamline it a little bit. So let's see here. We need Terra Magica. We need Moon. Comet. Let's see here. I would like to rock Moonblade, but this is gonna take two, which leaves me with two other free slots that I can use for. I would like to use the cannon, but maybe we're past it. Uh, so let's take Stars of Ruin. Hmm, Moonblade or Cannon? Cannon is good. I respect the power of the cannon. Maybe ditch the moon? I mean, the moon's good. For sure, without a doubt. Is it good enough to use with two slots? It was helpful in dungeons earlier, but I'm not certain it's going to be particularly useful in um, the zones to come up in the realm of giants. Well, I don't know, man. Weakening things to magic is probably pretty good. We'll keep it on. We'll keep it on hand. And so I have to choose: do I want the comet or do I want the moon blade? I think Moonblade. And then of course we will go Rancor. And then, um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is a, yeah, there's a castle thing up here that I should be able to get to by going around this away. Shack of the Lofty. So I run up and then left and then all the way down the river. And then if I go right, there may or may not be a way up. No, I bet I gotta go around and then across that ramp to do it. Whatever, that's fine. I can do that, though. I can do that. Alright, hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to a little bit of Elden Ring. Now, first and foremost, um, it's not really fair to say welcome back, because technically this is a continuation episode, because not even two seconds ago for you guys... I killed Rykard. However, that was always intended to be the beginning of an episode, and it ended up taking so fucking long. I'm gonna have to kill this fucking giant now, god damn it. Whoa, hey buddy! It, uh, sorry, um, anyway, it ended up taking so long that I actually... No, I'm dead. He missed. I actually did not have time to finish recording the episode the night of killing Radon. It just, it was not feasible. Ugh. Oh, he's totally gonna get me with that one. How have you still not hit me, my guy? 
You should have won this fight easily. But you know, whatever, I guess. He's got an ass ton of HP. He probably comes back, so I can't even rest to, like, deal... Well, I mean, I could deal with it more efficiently, I guess, but... I'm gonna be honest, I don't care that much. Anyway, it took me so long to kill Riker that I couldn't, I couldn't do the episode. I couldn't. So this is, for me, this has been like a day or two since I last played. Alright, uh, you know what? I may have to... I think my family just got home. It is 5 o'clock. And if they did, I will actually <laughs> have to immediately pause this and come back to it in a minute. But I can't pause it for very long because I am out of content. I need to... Uh, no one's home yet. So that's good. I need to... I need to record. I need to get this recorded because I have been... I'll be honest with you. I have been struggling to maintain the, um, the upload schedule that I have set upon myself. And, like, I'm not mad about it. I'm not... S nope. I'm not salty about it or anything. It just, you know, it it was... It's, it's, it's difficult. And with, um... Everything that's been going on recently... Well, I mean, that's not fair to say everything that's been going on recently. Most of the stuff that's been... Most of it, um, has been taken care of. It's done at this point. I will ha oh, I already got the seed. I'm an idiot. And I can't go down there. That's just death. Okay, so I want to make my way over here and kill this guy. That is one thing that I want to do for sure. And I think the fastest way to get there would be to just run down the river. I don't think I don't think the walking one will attack me. I was wrong. He will attack me. He just does not have a very large aggro range, it would seem. That's neither here nor there. I have to get this up today so that I have a uh, an Elden Ring to put out for today. I'm actively being targeted. I can't open the map. That sucks. If I can get if I can get at least one episode done and good to go, then I can. There we go. Get my bearings. So I, I just need to go down to the field and run left. And then if I take, if I go all the way this way, I can take the spirit spring up onto the mountain and then run across and then down. I think. And it's, it's, it's hard to navigate this game sometimes, man. It really, really is. But yeah, I should be able to run across that bridge and then go down from there. I do believe. That shit growling at me. I got harpies and stuff over here fighting. I don't even remember what they're fighting. Honestly, I don't even remember the point of this area if there even is one I am going to sprint through this like nothing spawns here there's no merchant there I mean there is the one summon sign for the Mount Gelmir mission but that's it so yeah I can't go across there I didn't really think I could but I figured I might as well check just in case because it kind of looks like it might be a little bit of a secret thing also there is a cave up here somewhere that I need to get as well and I still have not got that and yes I am rambling but that is okay I have completely forgotten what I was talking about earlier when I started this episode that's probably fine I imagine, ooh, okay, that was weird. I imagine that I probably mostly finished the thought, if nothing else, so I'm sure it's fine. Uh, ooh. Oh, Stargazer Ruin. Um, I think Goldmask and Corinne are here. They're, what, south of it, I guess? Is that right? I think south of the Stargazer's Ruins is where it said they would be. Maybe they're north. I don't fucking know, man. I cleared the ruin, right? Probably. I think it's full of, like, death demons. It's, well, it's uh, harpies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I found them. I found them. I found the secret floor, or at least the hole in the floor, which led me down here. I don't, I have no idea what the fuck I got out of this chest, but I looted it. That's what's important. 
moving on. Um, I just remembered I had a second apology I was gonna do before I got sidetracked, and that is um, my voice. I have no idea what um quality my voice is sitting at right now. It uh, it's been sore lately. My throat's been sore. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's just because I've been talking and singing a lot more than I am used to, and so my voice, like my throat and voice, that might just be raw and sore. That's entirely possible. Or it could be that I'm coming down with a little bit of strep or something. I really don't know. Um, it's been like it's not been like hugely sore, but just like kind of agitated for like about, about a week or so now, and. Fuck me. Fucking run. Who summoned you, you big bitch? Fuck me. Okay. So you're a whore. I understand. Yeah, my voice hurts, and the fact that it's been so minor and so persistent is what makes me feel like... Mm. Okay. You're a bastard. Travel over here real quick, I guess, because you're a bastard. Yeah, I think I think I think my voice is, is just mad because I've been using it a lot lately, and uh, it's something that I will either have to like get like some fucking honey tea or some shit to soothe my throat, or it's gonna be one of those where I'm just gonna get used to it over time, and it's gonna become less of an issue as my uh, talking muscles get stronger. <laughs> yes, talking muscles. Um. Also, you may have noticed, uh, GTFO, uh, still not up. That is because I have to cut some of the audio out of the first few episodes because, uh, my brother was not censoring himself, and when he found out that I hadn't edited it, he threw a hissy fit, so I'm gonna have to go and edit that. So if you are, uh, waiting for that to return, it will still be a little while because I just, I might be able to get to it tomorrow, seeing as tomorrow is Wednesday, it's my free day, my stream day, but I just, I don't know. I want to, but it's just, it's so time intensive because, see, with the very, very minimalistic way that I handle my, uh, my editing, it's not super intensive. You know, there's a few things that I cut out here and there. Uh, sometimes I add in some dialogue, and of course I put it in the intro screen. I just, I kind of make things fit, you know? But the fucking... Fuck you. Goddamn, you're tough. There's gotta be something here, right? Oh, the beast died quivers, eh? So there's death root up here. That's cool. Um What the fuck do I have to kill to stop this though? God damn Dan these giant skeletons are terrifying as fuck. They're so tough and they oh Alright I got the roly poly snails. Fuck you bitch, I got a lance. Fuck you, I got a lance. Beastie quivers, huh? Somewhere along here, ish. Yeah, I got no idea. I have no idea what's going on with that. It's scary. Ah, no! Oh, there's a mausoleum. 
That's a mausoleum I hear. Got some kind of manor thing off that a ways. Right there, maybe. And then this just leads back around to the rest of the cliff face. So I have to go down that way. I have to go all the way. I have to go through. I have to, God damn it. I have to go back through the grumpy skeletons to get down there to the castle. Skeletons are scary, man. I guess this, this will at least let me see if the beast eye quivers on the way back through. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh god, oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. Go this way. Shit. Oh, it's a death right bird. Yay. Deesh. Oh, fuck. Okay. Steak America, though. That's good. This must be the asshole that is, uh... Controlling my friends. Suck on my moon! Getting him, Tish. Fuck you, buddy. Uh, you're fucking tough as shit, dude. And I, I, oh, I would rather not fight you. If I'm being honest. There you go. Have fire. Oh god, Tisha's getting fucked up by that fire. Alright, my fire did some good damage. Ow! You're a bitch. You're still a bitch. Oh, fuck. Okay. You leave me no choice. I choose violence. Of the ultimate variety. Yeah. You're a tanky bitch, but, uh... I got something for tanky bitches. I got just the thing for tanky bitches. Go ahead, focus on Tish. Oh, you're a bitch. Yeah, that's right. You get in my ring of... Okay. All right. Oh, baby, get blocked. Hey, okay, fucking loser. Fuck that. God damn it. Okay. Oh, what if I just throw lightning at him? I don't know how much damage that does. The pro See, the thing is... Beam spell would have killed his ass. But it's fucking hitbox, man. Hitbox is nuts. Fuck you, whore. Get it? Why? Why do you keep doing that? Fuck! I hate this enemy. I hate this enemy so much right now. 
I literally want to scream. That's how annoyed I. It's a problem. Here's the problem. Here's okay. Just first of all, relax. It's not that big of a deal. Here's the problem. Also, I let my voice get like all fucky. Uh, that I don't. I'm not that horse. Don't let me lie to you. I'm being. I'm full of shit. I'm not that fucking horse. I'll be fine. Woo! Hey, buddy. Hey. Okay. No. So, um. First of all, I'm gonna need you to look at Tish like pretty, please. I, I swear, man. Tish is overpowered as fuck sometimes, and then other days. She is a literal garbage fire. <clears throat> blast. Got a blast. Nope. Get the fuck out of there. Nah, you missed, bitch. Bing. Oh, oh, fuck! Okay, that was not fair. First of all, why does your little flamey do deal 42 bajillion damage? That was literally the fastest I have ever seen Torrent die to anything. Ever. That was nuts. Beyond that, dude's an asshole. Fuck you. There we go. Dude, I swear to fucking Christ, if you don't back the fuck up off of my dick. Look at the other guy that's fighting you! Look at the other guy that's fighting you, please. Okay, stop. 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 I need to gather myself and focus. Because I'm handling this all wrong. Also, is Tish just up my ass right now? No, he just doesn't give a shit about Tish. Fucking shit, man. Just keep blasting. Just keep blasting. Just keep blasting him. Fuck me, man. That's... That's how you do it right there. Death Ritual Spear. That's all I got for my troubles. Was a fucking spear. I got big man up the hill throwing a hissy fit. I got a spear for killing the bird. I don't even think it's nighttime. Was that supposed to be a nighttime boss? Dude, you don't. You can't. Fuck off. You can't see me. Oh, okay. That's the village again. Gotcha. Yeah. Shack of the Lofty. So if I go this way, it'll take me to the castle. Finally, we've been trying to get to it for like fucking 20 goddamn minutes. But yeah, so the problem with that fight is two things. First of all, actually, that fight actually is not two things. That fight is just one thing. But that one thing kind of uh, manifests in two different areas of my combat. And that thing is people like. <clears throat> My voice is all fucky again, sorry. It actually is kind of upset this time because I was just yelling at the boss. Like, it's, it's, it's genuinely upset now. But pe people want to give me tips on how to play and fight. And I, I do, I appreciate the tips, I do. The problem, though, is more often than not, um, pe people give me tips that while I'm sure it was it was a, a great and wonderful tip for them I'm sure it was a huge help for them to have I'm sure it was lovely it's not 
it's either not beneficial to me because of my play style or I'm not good at doing it so like someone suggested that I handle um, large enemy fights from horseback and it would give me uh, you know more maneuverability and it's a good idea it really is I'm not saying that it's not the only problem is that the I don't know just every time I'm on a horse I seem to get bodied by shit man Let's see I don't think you can come through the door can you no you can't you're not allowed inside oh this is castle soul okay I was actually like low-key kind of looking for this Hey man, you can't, you can't come out here. No, you're fat. You can't come out here. You have to stay inside because you're you're a big fat doggy. You're fat. No. Oh, you're you're angry. You have goldy eyes. Wait, did you summon a twin? What is this? How did I not get him? Okay, alright. Oh shit! Get him, get him, get him. Alright, that one's dead. Cool. Hey! Thomas Smithing Stone. Always happy to have that. Now for this asshole. Get him. Bro. Why are you such a piece of garbage? Huh? Explain that one to me. Okay. Ow! Are you fucking shitting me right now? Frosty Magoo just ended my life by spitting on me? It knocked me down, and then I stood up into a damaging pool of shit. Alright, you know what? You know what? I, uh... I really, really liked the idea of this. I really did. But it has yet to impress me in any way. So, no. No, I abandon. I, I reject. I refuse. Give me my fucking comet back. And, uh... We'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go fireball. We'll go Loki fireball. Oh, blow up on his face, please. Oh, beautiful. I'm dead again. Sir! No. Another somber smithing stone, another four grand. That could have been like 24 grand. I am presuming that they don't come back as they do not seem to have returned. It was just the one this time. So that's kind of cool. I do appreciate that at the very least. Where the hell was I going? I have no idea what I'm doing with this episode as far as like commentary and stuff goes. I've finally managed to embrace the ramble a little bit. I'm talking. I'm not talking. There's quiet spaces. There's loud spaces. I'm not stressing out. Anymore. I'm not freaking out about it is the thing. And you know, there really is, um, there really is a dis- Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking Fuck.
I really do hate the knife birds. The knife birds are by a long shot one of my less less uh 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 accepted uh enemies. I think I think the knife birds are such bullshit. And the one that breathes fire is just a whole extra level of bullshit. I can't oh my headset's gonna die. Man, fuck you. It's fine, it's got plenty of time to finish this episode. I don't even know how long I've been doing this one, actually. We're going on... 26 minutes, that's not bad at all. My bird. I love that sp I put him in the wall. I put him in the wall. That's delightful. No, I love that spear though. It's just, it's just it's such a satisfying move. See, I got the moon blade. There we go. <clears throat> Problem solved. That enemy's broken as fuck. Whatever, does not matter. Thin beast plunge. You know, I have not crafted anything in a while. Hit me. And get fucked. Now, um. The spear does a lot less damage than my, uh, my, um, fuck, what's it called? Sword. Sword. It's called a sword. I couldn't think of the word sword, seriously? Moron. No, I'm using the spear instead of the sword right now, even though it does less damage, considerably less damage at that. Um, let's see, this does a total of 494 damage through physical and lightning. Granted, it is more physical than the other one has. It does 494. This one's doing 759 damage, okay? It's actually, it's not even, this one doesn't do a lot more physical damage. This one's got about 320-ish physical damage, and this one's got like 280, so it's not even that much higher. But this does a, a bunch of magic and fire damage as well, and it's just, it's very strong. Don't care. I will look. Down four of special spears. You know. But I like and also this even this one's up this sword is just like objectively better. This is like literally the single best weapon in the game. You want easy mode? Get and use this sword. It's fast, it does good damage, its skills are ridiculous, its requirements are aren't even ridiculous 12 12 24 24 i mean it's kind of it requires a rounded build to be able to use but that's good that's awesome i'm just using this because oh also this is a higher level it's this is plus 10 this is plus 7 so the damage comparison is not fair yet i will at least admit that but the, the point of this i spent way too long on that menu the point of this that was uh just to point out to bring up the fact that this ability is just satisfying as fuck, man. Like, just get fucking smoked, dude. This, yeah, this, by far one of the coolest weapon abilities. I love that. It's like, here's why I like it so much. Because it's like the lightning spear, which I've always, I've always loved the lightning spears. I got, so the, the first Souls game, that I personally ever played was at Ow. Was actually Dark Souls 2. And I played it on a 360 with no access to the internet at the time. So it was completely unpatched uh, and there was no multiplayer. But I just, I, I struggled. I struggled with the game. It was, it was not my first Souls experience, but it was my first Dark Souls experience, my first experience being the original Demon Souls, which is, I'm sure we can all agree, oh, is a whole, just, just a completely different beast. And, uh, I think that, you know, this is kind of where my love of lightning comes from, is because Dark Souls 2 lightning pre-nerf was nutty, man, it was Nutty.
like it it slaughtered it was viciously powerful way stronger than it had can I break these no can I I can weasel my way through noted it was I mean it ripped bosses apart man ferociously and you know as you progress you, <laughs> you get access to uh, well it still didn't kill him well whatever what the fuck was that saying I'm right now I'm stunned that this bird has lived to be completely honest with you I, I just I don't how? How the f how? Um, kill the dog. Yeah. Okay, so um, then it's so, and of course you know I never I never came back to Dark Souls two until Scholar of the First Sin, so I didn't know that lightning ever got nerfed. I never realized that it was considered overpowered. I thought. It was just good. You know what I'm saying? And so when I started playing Dark Souls. Oh, I can, I don't have to charge this. I can do a quick throw. I didn't even know there was a quick on a charge version on this. Also, the ability to charge spells in this is cool. I think it's super cool. Right, we've been up there. I go this way and some asshole knight is going to yeah, you. Bang! Bingo, bango, bongo. You're like a like a forgotten knight or some shit, bro. Hey, hey, man, hey. Yeah, whatever. I'll take it. Banished knight. That's what you're called. You're a banished knight. So I start I start playing Dark Souls, right? And um, as I'm playing Dark Souls, I of course, I'm using magic because magic was ungodly disgusting in Demon Souls. It really was, and it was. Hmm. Hmm. While magic itself was not that ridiculous in Dark Souls 2, it was good. It was quite good, and there was a lot of cool things you could do or get. I should say there was a lot of cool spells, even if they weren't all that good. There's a lot of really cool spells. I like cool things. So when I finally got Dark Souls, because I got I got Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 as a uh, combo pack for the PlayStation 2. Oh shit! I mean for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, whatever fucking console they came out on. And oh, you're gonna you are a bastard. Excuse me. So anyway, I got down, so I am so easily distracted. As I'm playing Dark Souls 1, I'm like, I'm oh shit. Yep, that was foolish. Should have healed. Should have hit the grace. Should have remembered that these assholes teleport. A lot of a uh, lot of mistakes were made right there. That's okay. At the very least, the only real enemy I had to deal with is this shithole bird up at the top of the stairs up here. Uh, other than that, it's a couple, it's it's just some, some little basic shit that I'm gonna one shot and I'm not really concerned about. But, anyway, the point of this story, as I was using the lightning in Dark Souls 1, I noticed that, you know, it was okay, but it, it I say, like, tell me he died. It wasn't incredible. And, Solaire, I got access to the Sunlight Sphere, which was my first encounter with it as a miracle. I never actually got it in Dark Souls 2. I never figured out how, because I was stupid and didn't understand the Covenants when I was doing it. Plus, I couldn't go online anyway, so the Covenants were a lot harder for me to do. So I never got a Sunlight Spear in Dark Souls 2. But in Dark Souls 1, I got the Sunlight Spear, and I was like, oh my god, it's like an ultimate godly version of... Because that's how you get it, is you take the Soul of Cinder and you trade it to the Sunlight Altar in Dark Souls 1, and that's how you get it. So it's it's like, it's a godly version, like a, a legendary spell or whatever, your boss spell, from the final boss in the game, even. And 
I it wasn't as good as I felt like it should be. It wasn't. It always felt underwhelming. And then the same thing happened in Dark Souls 3, where, you know, once again, the magic and the, the pyromancy in particular just felt re oh my god, get fucked, dude. It just, it just felt like really, really grossly, unfairly strong. For like no reason. Like the pyromancy in Dark Souls 3 was gross. But again, the miracles were just lacking. Most of their miracles, what, what you got to say? Oh great sun, frigid son of soul, surrender yourself to the eclipse, grant life to the soulless bones. Interesting. Eclipse Shotel, it's a weapon. Death Flare? Excuse me, Death Flare? Ooh, that's kind of neat looking. Eclipse Sun drained of color, one of the legendary armaments. Ah, well, I knew that when I picked it up, but I'm just. Set the lust of the sun ablaze with the Prince of Death's flames, inflicting it. Oh! It's literally a death sword type thing. I'm gonna keep a hold of that. That's cool. Yeah, I just I mean, the Souls game—they've always left miracles feeling comparatively kind of weak. And so now that I have this, and I can fucking donk things with it it's delightful it's so fucking satisfying to have because because even even the lightning spears in like the other lightning spears that i've had have not been on this level they've not first of all none of none of the other ones make you fly when you throw them and that's just a whole level of extra that you can't ignore but beyond that it fucking it one shots most things and the things that it does not one shot it either does good damage to or knocks on their ass because like ow 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 I was gonna say obviously like the the bigger scarier dudes don't die in one hit but when it knocks them over I can appreciate that and I don't think the other ones do that. The Sunlight Spear might have. But I don't think any of the other ones did. And you know, that brings me to another... Another... A, 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 a complaint. A grump. A grump that I have. Okay. Can I open this? No, can I open this? No, it's just completely locked off. About this game. A grump that I have about this game. And that is that... There's no... Okay, there's like an endless amount of cool incantations in this game there's so many cool miracles it's not even funny right but for whatever reason there's like no fucking cool spells there's a couple comet azure is really cool ronnie's moon is cool and of course strong they're both very they're strong but again you know that kind of that brings me back to what i was getting ready to say before about you know like for what it is, Ronnie's Moon, I feel like, does not do enough damage. I don't think either Moon does. I think I think they should be much stronger than they are. I think, first of all, it takes two slots. Second of all, it takes all that to cast. Third of all, it's like a suit. Oh, shit. God damn, Mr. Bloodhound Knight on my dick. Oh fuck, it's Oleg! No wonder I'm getting my ass beat. Banished Knight Oleg! 
Of course. Of course. Oh my god, it makes perfect sense now. I'm an idiot. I'm a fuck. I'm an idiot. Literally. Okay. Yeah, alright. I should have known that was gonna be tough. So there's two banished knights. Brothers in arms. Um. Oleg and Eng. Ow. And Engval. Engval. Is, uh. He has a halberd. And of course, Oleg's got his swords. They're both very tough. Uh, if I had to pick one over the other, I would say that Oleg is the tougher of the two. But I might just be biased because I got Oleg first. That's entirely possible. Fuck me, dude! Oleg! 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 Jesus! Dude needs to fucking relax! Like, first of all, first of all, I was in stealth, okay? I wasn't moving fast. I wasn't close to him. I didn't hit him. I didn't make a noise. And yet still, I like how that picks me up so it fucks up his aim and then it drops me back down under it so that it ruins his shot. I love that. Then, he gets the swords out, starts walking in, you know, the wrong direction, and then teleports into my fucking face! That was terrifying! Why does, why does he, why does he feel the need to be quite, you know, I'm just gonna... Just gonna boop. All right, let's. Okay, get to the bottom of the stairs. All right, we'll drink. We'll Terra Magica. We'll moon. We'll comet. Okay. That was very unfortunate for me. Please reach. Yeah! Fuck you, Oleg. See, that's cool. That's a cool spell. I must say, that is a spell that, as far as I know, was inspired by Dark Souls 2. Hmm. I'll take me back down. Get it. So this is just to fight Oleg and get that medallion, it would seem. So now I go back down the other way, go down into the building, clear that, go around, clear the top side, go into that other building, probably leads to the boss. If I had to guess. I would imagine there's not too, too much going on here, seeing as I've already cleared a couple of very large chunks of it. So where does this go? Oh, I could have cheesed Oleg. Well, unless he teleported into my face, which, you know, is a distinct possibility. Distinct possibility. Oh! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, yes, yes, yes. And spinning weapon. Ooh, baby. That was close. Ooh. Much closer than I would have liked. Ow, for some little fucking rat. You guys are entirely too fucking strong. Fuck you. Fuck you. God, little demon. I hate rats. I hate rats in these games, man. They're so fucking strong. They're so, so much stronger than they have any right or reason to be, man. No need for that. 
no need for that. I should not have gone that way, man. God damn. What's this? A goodie? Ah, a rune arc. That is... Oh yeah, there's that whole fucking chunk over there too. So there's, okay, there's, there's more left than I realized. I will concede that. You know what? I actually am probably gonna have to call this episode. Oh, you know what? I'm actually past my 45 minute mark anyway. Yeah, I've missed my comment. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, comment's nice. Yeah, I'm, pa I'm, Church of the Eclipse, huh? I think I've seen a couple of these churches. I don't know. Could be wrong. Anyway, um. So yeah, I'm gonna get this uh, slapped together and start uploading it. And um, when we come back, we'll continue with Castle Salt. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now. All right, everybody. We're gonna go ahead and pause it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help. You can also check out twitter.com slash snowflake for when videos come out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.